more new records. S&P down, Nasdaq posting all-time highs. How should investors be getting ready for this new unstoppable rally? You must have heard of Nasdaq, S&P down from somewhere, but what do they mean? How are they different? Today, I'm here to simplify everything for you, so stay tuned. Good morning everyone, this is Justin here. You must have heard of Dow Jones, Nasdaq, S&P 500 on TV, radio, or rather mean Yahoo Finance, Bloomberg, and other media outlets. Have you ever questioned why they are always those three and what they are exactly? They're actually pretty straightforward. And let's start with the basics. And there are two stock exchanges in the United States, New York Stock Exchange and Nasdaq. New York Stock Exchange short for NYSE, Nice, Nice, Nasai, whatever, was founded in 1792 and is physically located on Wall Street. And this is where you will see everyone wearing a headset hysterically shouting at each other on the trading floor and the fancy balcony where companies will ring the celebratory bell as they list their stock on the exchange. This is also where tourists will go witness a national landmark that features billions of US dollars flowing in and out every day behind a neoclassical architectural facade that focuses on geometry and symmetry. NASDAQ, on the other hand, is 100% digital, meaning there's no trading floor, no bell, no balcony, no physical location, nothing, which emphasizes ultimate efficiency and being low key. So low that is invisible. Knowing that background, now is a great time to hit that like button down below. Thank you, thank you. And segue to indexes. If you want to know how the US stock market is doing, you want to know how these two stock exchanges are actually doing. That's where indexes come into play. They take a bunch of stock prices and then transform into a clean number to summarize the overall performance of the market. Number one. S&P 500. The S&P 500 tracks 500 companies with the largest market cap listed on both NICE and NASDAQ exchanges. Meaning these are the 500 companies with the valuation from the highest to the 500th highest. Because it tracks 500 companies, it covers a broad range of industry sectors, like how Apple represents tech and JP Morgan represents financials. The weight of each sector is different, like 21% tech to 12% financials to 5% energy. Number two, Dow Jones. Dow Jones was one of the oldest single most watched indexes in the world. This index was created by Charles Dow in 1896 to serve as the proxy for the broader US economy. On the other hand, it only tracks 30 companies, 30 large blue chip companies with stable and consistent earnings listed on both NICE and NASDAQ such as Apple from NASDAQ and Disney from NICE. Because the S&P 500 covers all 30 stocks in Dow Jones, some YouTubers make a claim that the Dow Jones is redundant. Personally, I think the Dow is a bit redundant because it's 30 components and those are already included in the S&P 500 index. Which I disagree with because they're meant to represent and measure different values and markets. Plus, if it's so redundant, why would Wall Street still use it? There's actually a committee that is which companies goes into Dow Jones, which makes the process very selective. Whereas companies in S&P 500 can change quickly as the valuation of those companies changes. Compared to S&P 500, Dow Jones has more weight on financials and industrial sectors. Because at the end of the day, Dow Jones stands for Dow Jones Industrial Average. Last one, number three, NASDAQ. The NASDAQ Composite Index of course has something to do with the NASDAQ exchange that we were just talking about because it's the market cap weighted index of over 2,500 common equities listed on NASDAQ meaning companies listed on NICE won't be this index such as Disney or Nike and remember NASDAQ is 100% digital that's also what attracts many of the tech companies to list on NASDAQ for its efficiency and makes total sense that half of the companies in NASDAQ index are actually tech companies and nothing from the financials or the material sectors. In a nutshell, if you want to take a look at diverse large market cap companies, go for S&P. 
If you want to get a glimpse of how the overall broader US economy is doing, go for Dow Jones. And if you care about how Silicon Valley is doing, go for Nasdaq. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching and hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you want free stocks, use the referral links down below and spend 2 minutes signing up. There's no catch, just free money. Don't forget to hit the like button to see the beautiful shade of blue transcending that gloomy grey color. Drop a comment to tell me what topic you want to see next. I will respond to every message. Every message. Doing any of those will help motivate me to produce more high quality content. If it's too much to do all three, um, just to hit the like button. Have some fun in designing your personal finance, hobbies, and hence a life full of things that you love. See you on the next video. Cheers. Thank you.